The Richmond Valley community is sick and tired of the lack of consultation by both the coal seam gas industry and also the council with regards to what our future holds. We're scared. Basically, the community is very, very scared. We ask people what the main questions are. What are the really big questions that haven't been answered? And there are some really simple questions like how many wells are there going to be? We need to know how many wells are going to be to know how much of our beautiful agricultural land is going to be covered in this network of, of uh, mi mining and toxic dams and whatnot. They said 500 wells to the Upper House Inquiry. They said 1,000 to a group of dairy industry people. And we've done the calculations. It's 1,500 if they want to get all the gas that they say they're going to get. There's a whole lot of issues about what are they doing with the toxic waste. At the moment it's going into dams up at Piora. We know they've been overflowing. We've got photographs of, of tears in the liners, uh, all sorts of issues there. And, there, and there, there are questions coming from overseas at the moment about what the effects of that toxic waste is on farm animals and on people who live on the land. And uh, there's, there's quite a bit of evidence now that uh, those, that toxic waste, if cattle come in contact with it, they either die or they have uh, uh, stillborn calves or, or uh, deformed fetuses. There's all sorts of awful sorts of uh, effects that, uh, that these uh, toxic wastes have. There's even uh, information now coming out on the effects on human beings too. We know that the poor farmers in Queensland, they're, 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 there are families up there where the kids are having constant bleeding noses and headaches and sore eyes. And it's, uh, we just want the information. We just want, we want these questions answered. Where is the toxic waste going? We know there's the, 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 the dams that I was just talking about, they got very full recently, and the financial manager of Metgasco said that they took some of that water away. We want to know where it went. How much did they take away? Where did it go? We, they're the sorts of questions we need to answer. Oh, thank you very much. Just a set of questions we wouldn't mind having answered very specifically. Thank you very much. We're putting our hats down there as a symbol of our, our livelihoods, our families, all the people that live here that, that may be affected by the toxic waste, the disturbance to our psychology, our, so, our social networks. Um, this is a symbol of who we are what we represent and what we're scared of happening to us. You've seen the trucks run over these before. It's a symbol. One of the really, really worrying things about this is that Gasco is trying to give this squeaky clean image, but they're an exploration company. And the idea of an exploration company is to show that there's bucket loads of gas down there and then take that somewhere else and sell off to one of the big, big, bigger companies like uh, you know, PetroChina or Shell and the community is going to be left with a mess at the end of all of this. Metgasco is not even going to be there anymore. And if you only have to look at what's happening at Tara and Chantilla and places like that, and know that it's a, a social disaster as well for the communities there. Frack off, Mr. Trickster. You think you're clever, but your plan sucks, your well sucks, your money sucks, your friend sucks, you sucks, and CHG sucks. <laughs> so let's make it clear. <laughs> I would say if there's any companies out there even considering buying out Metgasco, they need to think long and hard about that kind of community that this, this is being foisted on. No 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 We've got a beautiful region here. We're, we're part of this thin green strip that goes down the east coast of Australia. And you, you know, we're a food basket here. We've got farmers here who are very trusting people and they don't get riled very easily. But once they do, they're going to be a real force to be reckoned with. And any company that wants to come in here and buy into that sort of thing is going to have an awful lot of trouble. No CSG! No CSG! The top investment advisors at the moment are suggesting that people pull their money out of coal seam gas. And the shareholders in companies like Metgasco would be getting very, very nervous at the moment simply because of the backlash of community sentiment and opinion here. It's not going to happen here. The people are really, you know, they're saying over my dead body, really. That's the stage it's got to. No CSG! No CSG! No!